Welcome back to the Activist Training Lab video course. Today, in our final Recruitment and Leadership Development Series video, we're going to talk about launch meetings. And a launch meeting is an event that you can use to kick off your campaign and jumpstart the recruitment and leadership development process. So let's dissect a launch meeting by talking about the when, where, who, what, and why. We'll start with when. A launch meeting is something you hold near the beginning of your campaign when you have a campaign plan and you're ready to start implementing that plan. You'll want to nail down the details of the launch meeting about three or four weeks in advance of it so you have time to recruit people. And as far as the actual time of day, I've typically found that weekday evenings and weekends are good, but you'll need to think about what time works best for members of your community. Now let's turn to where. A launch meeting can take place virtually if necessary, such as on Zoom, but if possible, I highly recommend holding it in person. There's really no substitute for face-to-face -face connection, even if online spaces can work. You'll want somewhat of a large space if you're holding it in person that can accommodate plenty of people, and you'll want your launch meeting location to be public, convenient, and accessible. Just for some examples, you might want to reserve a meeting room at a local library, a community center, a college campus building, or a coffee shop, or you could ask a local brewery, cafe, restaurant, store, or nonprofit to use one of their spaces, or you could plan to use an outdoor space like a park pavilion. As for the who, you want to invite as many people in your community as possible. A launch meeting is a really good time to cast a wide net and spread the word about your campaign to as many people as you can. Uh, if you need help putting together a recruitment plan for your launch meeting, I would recommend going back and watching our video Recruitment 101. So on to the what. Now, this part is really up to you. Well, all the parts are, but this part especially. But in my ideal world, a launch meeting includes four things. First, a sign-in. Second, an orientation to the campaign. Third, an action session. And fourth, an opportunity to be social. So let's look at these components. Sign-in just means that you are doing your best to capture the contact information of everyone who attends your launch meeting. Orientation to the campaign means that you need to, in some way, introduce people to the issue the campaign is addressing, the campaign story, and the campaign strategy. You could do that by giving a 15-minute presentation. You could do that by having a few people that are already involved in the campaign share their personal stories and why they're working on the campaign. You could watch videos about the issue. There's a lot of directions you can go here. The important thing is that people leave the orientation understanding the issue, the campaign strategy to address that issue, and some ways that they might be able to play a role in the campaign. The next component is action session. Not every launch meeting needs an action, action session. I just personally think launch meetings are more successful when they have one. An action session could involve literally taking action for the campaign, like painting a banner or writing letters to the editor, or it could be some type of discussion or brainstorming activity, or it could even be something like a game or a training exercise. Anything that helps people feel engaged and generate ideas or excitement about the campaign could work well here. And then finally, the last component is an opportunity to be social. This usually happens at the end of the meeting after the formal program ends and is typically something optional and casual like providing food and encouraging people to stick around after the meeting to eat that food and hang out or inviting everyone to take a walk in the park afterwards or something along those lines. And that finally brings us to why. Why do this? Well, a launch meeting serves a few very useful functions. First, it orients a lot of people to the campaign story, including the vision, goal, and strategy. Second, it allows you to gather the contact information of those people through the sign-in, and you can then recruit them and try to develop them as leaders. And finally, it provides a space for people to begin to build relationships and have a good time, making them more likely to get involved in your campaign and take future action. So again, this really is just a way to kick off the recruitment and leadership development process. After the launch meeting, it's essential that you follow up with as many of the attendees as possible. So you want to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with as many people as possible, and you want to invite everyone who attended to future campaign meetings, campaign events, and campaign actions. 
The follow-up can be even more critical than the actual launch itself because it's the follow-up that either allows you to build on the momentum of the launch or the lack of follow-up that can lead the momentum to fizzle out. So launch meetings are a great way to kick off the recruitment and leadership development process in a campaign, and the follow-up after that can help you build out a strong and powerful team. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel or visit our website for more Activist Training Lab content.